Okay, so in this video, we're going to be going ahead and completing our dropper, our tycoon game uh, with our in-game currency. Make sure that value goes up per um, money and per items. And then also being able to walk over there and increase, pick up our cash, pick up what we have worked for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and this is this this can be a long topic. So we're going to go ahead and chop this video into about three pieces with an additional um, piece at the end for ownership which is very important because then you can have anyone walk over to your station and get your money uh, which is a big no-no so ownership is super important it's not gonna be tough it won't be complicated I promise you we're gonna walk through it nice and slow this is a complete complete beginner's guide let's go ahead and hop right into it right now uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move myself out the way because I feel like uh, sometimes there's something I want to show and I forget I'm there. Anyways, like I was saying about the dropper, let's have it drip. So I'm going to go to the trigger here. And this is a script that I have on the trigger. I'm actually about to delete it, but I want to copy it before I delete it. I'm going to the dropper and this is the dropper mount. So I have a full object here that has everything kind of like parent to it. This is a good idea because now I can duplicate this and basically I'll be able to have another dropper when I need one. Um, let me make the script on it first before I duplicate it. Inside I have the mount which is that yellow spot right there. Which is a spot where I'm telling it to spawn at in this code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create the script on this spot for the dropper. So create script. And I like to name my script so I'll go ahead and name this. Um, Dropper script, why not? Dropper script that is, uh, oh, I guess my caps lock was on, so it came out all funky. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it <clears throat> unique. I think that's very unique. Cause like I said before, I was literally just gonna copy paste this, copy it and paste it over. I have to make some modifications, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to close the other script, go to the trigger which is uh, this object here. And now I'll just delete the entire object. And this, uh, the trigger will also go with it. The script will go with it. Now, the trigger here targets the dropper mount. And since the dropper mount, which is this, is now on itself, right? Um, what I can do is simply replace this, hey, check for the dropper mount and the workshop, blah, blah. To simply say script dot oh my caps lock still on script dot parent right I won't need a trigger so this like me thing which is like hey this block touch and then fire off this function I won't need that so I'll get rid of this get rid of the touch event and now I have a reference to the object we wanna uh, we wanna spawn this fallen object. And here's the clone and situation set up for it. Where to spawn ourselves, what to spawn, boom. So now we just gotta call this every so often. Simple to do. Let's go down here and we'll make a while loop. While, do, and then then. What we're gonna do here is a quick little wait. About three seconds. After three seconds, we simply call the function that says spawn money. So we put that right there. Okay. Um, uh, there was a, what's going on here? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So the issue here um, is that the while loop is kind of like a for, like, kind of like a, um, an if statement requires right here a condition. Do what? You know, while what do the rest of this? So I'm simply just gonna say the condition here is going to be true. So it's just gonna be true all the time. And it's just gonna do that. All right, that's basically all all set. Let's uh, let's go and have a quick test. We can see every about three seconds, it goes all by itself. All right, perfect. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated. We just put the script on the dropper. So now, like I was saying earlier, it's easy for us to duplicate. 
move it over to the bat. And now we have that little currency. And so as we create our little sections where we purchase more droppers, you can see everything will already be set up. Okay, important thing. Let's stop right here real quick. Important thing I want to tell you. I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to let you know this is super important when you're getting into um, development or becoming a coder, period. Listen, guys, think ahead. So I'm thinking ahead here. I might, we're going to need more droppers. We're going to have all kinds of cool stuff happening. Thinking ahead, you, I'm trying to make my code independent, like they're not relying on other things. And so now I can duplicate this dropper and have as many droppers as I want and they work and I don't have to touch them. So now once the dropper, once the cache reaches this green area, let's go ahead and make our money increase. All right. So on with it. Usually you have a little station that you run over to and you collect that cash. It's usually some sort of like uh, something that looks like a computer with my caps lock still on. Something that looks like a computer. I kind of want something that doesn't have a, um, a script to it. You know what? Let's make our own. It's going to make the video a little bit longer, but we'll make our own and also be learning about surface, uh, surface, um, surface GUI and um, what's the other thing? Uh, text labels and all that stuff. Okay, so this is this is the bottom part that basically you're gonna um, step on. I will make it in the collision. I'll make it that you can touch it, but you can't collide with it. Okay, understand these two. The difference, guys, is that if you touch it, this one touch, you can fire off like that trigger that we were doing with the platform that we stepped on when i say you can't collide with it now by unchecking that simply means that you can walk through it oh where'd it go it fell through the floor obviously <laughs> fell through the floor uh let's not forget to anchor it there we go anchor is checked uh you can't collide with it so you can see we can walk right through it. So I'm gonna do that just to make it easier for players to come and collect their money, like ching, collect their money, ching, collect their money. Um, also, something happened here with this. I think it was um, because in the floor and, and it's underneath there, it uh, it was hitting the other uh, other thing or something was hitting hitting each other here. So let's see if I do that. Um, let me anchor it as well. And then I don't think it's going to move. Okay. So we're running into a little bit of tech issues here, which is perfect because we want to see how these things are fixed. Um, just in case you're having the same thing. So this is a little platform where we run to and collect our money. Uh, let's go ahead and put, a, put up a screen so we can see how much money we're getting as well. So with the internet uh editing software here let's go ahead and speed up this part so i'll catch you when it's done All right, so here we are. Um, <laughs> this is it, didn't really take long. I don't think we really have to speed that up. Um, let's go ahead and name this. This is our giver. And then the bottom part, I'm going to just parent it on to it. Um, this is the bottom part that will be the, uh, basically the, the trigger. On the giver here, I'm gonna add something called a surface UGUI. Okay, and what that does is you get, you can see it over here, like a, a little highlight blue outline. Um, you're able to add GUI to that. So you're able to add 
text and labels. I'm going to add this label here. Boof. You can see it right there. Now, as you walk up to it, I kind of want to see the cache information uh, on this side. So to fix that, we go to Surface GUI and face, I believe it's where it is. You see front, right? And if, if this is the front, then use your common sense here. Obviously, the back would then be this side. So hit that. You can see it show up there. Now, I'm going to fix the text, uh, give it an example amount. Uh, let's see. The text name itself is called text label. I'm going to change that to money, uh, money text. This might be important for later. Now, the appearance, I believe is where I'm, nope. Uh, behavior, nope. I, I okay oh my god it's right here I'm looking for text it is right here text and I just want to give it some example um, amount so I'm gonna put about 50 in there as an amount right and now um, I want to do some scaling to find out a good size that looks pretty good to me so I'll just go ahead and set it at um, 80 and then um, one more thing, the font, you get the uh, text or font face here. Yeah, you can choose your font. Now I really think maybe eight was too much, so I'll go back to uh, 60. All right, I kinda wanna now bring it down to the center. Yep, yeah, you are looking under data, and if you scroll down to position, Click on the Y, Y is up and down, and then go to offset. Now if you increase this number, say by 10, you see it goes down, um, about 50. That's about center, okay? Um, finally, for decorate, decorative, <laughs> for, the, for decor, decoration, um, also in the data here is um, background color three. I'm gonna go ahead and um, go well, actually below that where this says transparent background transparent see I'm gonna go ahead and set that to one this kind of blends it let's hit play so we can see what it looks like for right now there we go and so when you walk over here you'll be able to swing, collect your money <laughs> let's anchor that so it doesn't fall all right um, let's anchor it so it doesn't fall Boop. anchor uh, and so we have all of that set now guys there's one other thing I want to do is we want to make sure all of our um, conveyor belt here is grouped as well we want things to not be nice and grouped as well so we got our belt um, the belt has the script on it that makes it you know rotate and whatever two belts dropper the green thing and these other parts so these other parts all need to go into let's say our belt we don't want to group this with that we actually want to group this in with this so i'm going to group it with our giver i'm not going to group the conveyor belt stuff right now i'm just letting you know that that's something that you want to do for sure all right everything is set up for us to succeed we got our trigger which is this we have our this so you'll be able to duplicate this conveyor belt as well just like how we're able to duplicate this we're coding with the idea of having things in the future so you're gonna have another belt and all you gotta do is then duplicate this put this at the same spot you know what let me group this as well because i want to make sure you guys understand what's going on so just clicking on this holding shift clicking on the last one i'm able to kind of do that and then i'll just drop it in with that belt and um i'll drop this belt in there with it too so then this is all group <clears throat> watch what i can do now um i can duplicate this and now with that duplicated i can simply you can simply do this 
And now if I want to duplicate this, I can duplicate this as well. And you just slide that over. And so we have a fully functioning um, conveyor belt there as well. And I can grab one of these droppers. And both of them will work. We haven't broken anything. Okay. Alright, so the reason we put these now in here is because this trigger, <clears throat> this giver, is going to control when the items touch this, increase this money. Also, when we touch this um, orange part right here, give us the money. So let's get into that part right now. 